The Hawaii Department of Land and Natural Resources has provided an update on the water outage affecting Hapuna Beach State Recreation Area in West Hawaii. In a news release, it was announced that the Division of State Parks is taking a multi-pronged approach, consisting of three simultaneous and separate projects, which the state says is now in process to address temporary, short-term fixes, as well as a permanent, long-term solution to the ongoing issue. In October 2022, the state reported that a major waterline break had resulted in a number of closures at Hapuna Beach, frustrating visitors to the popular Oceanside Park. Months went by without any apparent fix. State parks officials were questioned about the prolonged shutoff during a Senate hearing in February 2023. Okay. But just to let you know that it's unacceptable mm -hmm. to have a very important recreational facility like Kapuna Beach on the island. Why did we wait so long? A few days later, the Hawaii DLNR issued a lengthy news release, including video, further explaining the situation. It featured an interview with the Hawaii District Superintendent of State Parks. As the pipe comes across through the road, you can see the piles of dirt and the disturbed dirt. That's where we've done multiple attempts at repairs. If not, it would be flat. Between 2018 to current, there has been approximately 41, 42 attempts at correcting the issues with the leaks, cutting the pipes, splicing them, doing what we needed to do to keep the water running. So before this last leak, uh, they attempted to fix and turn it on and it lasted about two, three seconds before we sprung three other leaks. So it's, it's worked its way from lasting a month and a half to two months at a time to lasting seconds. The, the latest uh, leak that we had was in October. I, we decided to see if we could just isolate the upper section and see if we could slowly work our way down. Uh, we isolated the section right up here by the shutoff, turned it on, and within hours we had water flowing up on the side of the road and eating away and eroding the road. In its most recent update, the Department of Land and Natural Resources says the investigation to determine the causes of the recurring leaks is underway. And in a news release, the department reported, The temporary system will feature above-ground piping to deliver potable water for use at a pair of restrooms and showers at the beach. This short-term repair is set to be completed by July. Design, permitting, and installation of the new water system will be more complicated, with regulations, codes, availability of materials and contractors, and other related logistics to navigate. Completion for the long-term fix is slated for April 2024.